Welcome to cloud to disk serial communication in AL. Hey, I'm Eric, and uh, so today, today I'm going to show you uh, something I've been working on um, serial communication. And today everybody knows about um, about USB, you know, universal serial bus. Uh, but before we had USB, we um, you no. Know, Let's see if I can get this. Uh, no, we had serial connections. Like this is a nine pin serial connection. And um, a lot of stuff communicated on serial connections. A lot of stuff still today actually communicates on, on serial uh, from weights to uh, controlling different things. Um, quite often you end up having, having you know a serial connection. And sometimes you might need to talk to something that only has a serial communication from Business Central. And um, that's, that's kind of what I've been, been playing around with. Um, so if you're in the cloud, then it's kind of difficult to you know connect a, a cable between your, your Business Central server and, and whatever piece of equipment that you need to talk to. But that's one of the the tasks that I'm I'm trying to to solve with my my little cloud to disk project and um, let, let me sh let me show some. So actually, these two cables have a very specific purpose because uh, you know, this one is connected to my IMSE eighty eighty. Uh, you may think that this thing is just there for you know for show, uh, but it's not. This is actually an MSA, or a replica MSA 80 running a CPM. And it's in order to talk to, a, to a, a, a computer from the 70s, you know, you gotta talk with serial. Uh, the other end is connected to my PC here. So now I'm gonna do this. There you go. And I have a rubber band that I kind of put on this thing because then I won't. So, my computer is connected to the IMSA. And um, what we can do here is that we can, we can fire up a program called Putty. And I know this might be hard to see, but we're communicating on COM port number five. So, COM ports were numbered, are numbered. Uh, the first one is COM port one, and so on. Uh, and this one is COM port five in uh, on my machine. So I open and on, on a different screen, I get nothing. Um, but let's tell the IMSA to boot. The, <laughs> the IMSA is running. We have 54K uh, kilobytes of RAM, CPM version 2.2 .2 available. Um, I can do a deer. Let's do a survey and see what we have. Uh, so we got drive A with 230K uh, capacity on the floppy, 13K remaining. Um, there's 65K in my system, which is, means that this one is actually maxed out. And um, yeah. We can do stuff. We can, uh, we can, uh, what can we do? We can see that we, I put in the word star floppy in drive D. So I can go D colon dear, and then we can start word star uh, by micro pro uh, version 3.3 copyright 1983. Anyway, um, we're not really, this is not a word star video. Maybe I should create one of those. No, I'll just hit exit uh, again. But I'll go back to a colon because that's where some things are. So that's, so I'm communi communicating with the IMSA through the serial port. Uh, and you can see the speed here is what is known as 9,600 bow, uh, a bot. I don't know, bot, bo, bot rate, bo, bot, I don't know, uh, bot, maybe. Uh, meaning that 
the through the wire 9600 bits are transmitted per second uh, and um, depending on what you do so right now i'm running 8 bit 8 data bits so and then there's a stop bit there's no parity bit um, so this will basically round up to um, around 980 uh, 900, 960 characters a second uh, so it's not that fast and we can see that you know by scrolling anyway let's uh, enough of uh, of nostalgia here uh, let's um, close down this one and, uh, and 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 see what we have here so I I know that this one is actually not in the cloud but it really doesn't matter so this Business Central has Cloud to Disk installed. Uh, my machine here has also Cloud to Disk, the local access module installed, meaning that this is the local client that has access to the machine. Uh, if you have not seen the, my other, I, uh, have I, maybe I haven't done one video on Cloud to Disk so far. Uh, where I'm, I'm using this to access files and access printers and stuff like that. Um, these two cannot, by definition, communicate with each other because BC in the cloud has no way of connecting to a program on my machine. Um, so there's actually a third component sitting in, in Azure, which is a um, communication proxy uh that bc connects to and this one also connects to uh so so from these two entities and right now they're running on the same machine but they might as well be running on different machines they connect both to the proxy sitting in, in azure and the proxy takes communication from bc and sends to this one uh, so think about the connection that this con this one is making a connection to the cloud but it's kind of a reverse open connection. So it makes a connection and then the cloud can send stuff back through that connection. Um, so if I go into, I think I created a page called the Serial Communication Explorer. Now we can see here that it, this kind of looks just like, well, it looks nothing like <laughs> Uh, that I used to connect before, but some of them does. So I can specify the COM port. I can specify the ball rate, ball rate, bar, uh, the speed. I can specify a data bits. In this case, we have eight. We have no, we have one stop bit. So the way this, because this is just a single line uh, communication. So when you're done transmitting, you're sending a stop bit uh, and then there's an, another start bit. So in total 10 bits, will be used to send one byte. Um, we have specified there's no parity bit. We can also send a parity bit to do a parity check on, 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 on the communication. And I have specified that uh, I do not want handshakes. And handshakes means that if we do have a, a separate line in, in, in the cable, uh, we, we, we could use that for controlling who's allowed to send and receive and so on. So I can hit connect here. And if we go over and look on this one, let's actually make this wider. Oh, I can't be wide enough. And okay, it doesn't matter. So we have an open COM port task coming in uh, and that's succeeded since we can see here in PC we're connected. So, um, I could uh, I could type dear here, hit enter, and we get what was on the console. So compared to the other one, what happens if I type survey and hit enter? So this one was running right, and now it kind of but we could we could have to ask it to read again. Um, so so we we. We're communicating. I could go to let's let's break this. So e colon. Uh, oh, there is no e colon. So now we we actually broke the MSA. Um, 
and no matter what I do now, it it just gets really really mad at me and saying, hey. <laughs> There is no driving E. I don't know what E is. So the only thing I can do now is actually to reboot the IMSE. So I have to go over and I hit the reset here. And we can go back and then let's see if we get the boot message. So now we get the boot message through the serial port. So I think this is pretty cool, but, but I... I'm, I, I enjoy these old things anyway. Um, but let, let me let me show you how this actually works from an AL perspective at least. Um, so let me see if I can find this thing. So this is the page that we're looking at right now. Uh, Comport testing. And um, it, it's just a page. Uh, on open page what we do right now is that we we call into uh, cloud to cloud to disk and and ask to register uh, us as a a client um, and the same thing happens when when this thing registers it's also registering and they're registering within the same tenant and there's some some uh, some security measures that make sure that that you know you don't cross tenants, um, and we set up some default. Uh, so when I I can if I go disconnect here again if when I click connect, let's find connect. It's right here. We call into uh, cloud to disk open com port. We pass the the port, the speed, the data bits, parity, stop it, a handshake, and. I just hard coded a timeout value for now. Uh, and if that succeeds, we're connected. Uh, and I, if I want to disconnect, I call uh, close com port. And well, I can only call that if, if we are connected anyway. Um, if I want to uh, write something, I called call cloud to disk write com port for the text um, on my to do list is a uh, is a stream version actually also um, and then in this case I wait a second and then I read what's because I know that you know the MSA is is kind of slow to to reply uh, so I'll give it a second and then read out what I have um, so the 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 one of the problems with serial communication is that uh, since we're in this detached uh, scenario where, where we're one relay apart, um, we got a buffer. So, so in the this program, it's just buffering. Whenever there's, as long as the so now the com port is open, uh, is closed. So if I if I go back and I I open it, at this point where I say connect and 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 this one registers then that the com port is open, then this one will start buffering. So whenever I say read, it will send whatever is buffering. Right now we can see I just put in a. Uh, or a console message saying that if there is a buffer, what is the size of what I'm sending back? Um, so I could let, let's actually we can try that. So if I hit the the, the reset of the MSA and then I hit it again and I hit it again. So now I have reset the, the MSA three times. So the COM is still connected even though we're we're booting this machine so I can go read now and we can see that I have 585 bytes of, of buffering so I get multiple times of the of the boot message so normal com port uh, behavior would be to oh you got to check if there's something and then handle buffering but that's all taken care of so the only thing you can do here is that you can say read and and read is is kind of the same as to ask is there anything to read um, and um, 
instead of having is there anything, then read it uh, because that would be the normal way to do it in in, in a true serial port. Here we just I'm gonna just combine that to a read command. So hey, read from the COM port. Um, and there is already a read into a stream. So if we want to do something like that, we can just read into a stream, um, which works pretty well. Um, so this will enable relatively simple serial communication. Uh, this will not enable us to, to write uh, uploading downloading protocols you know kermit the kermit protocol or x modem or z modem or y modem or whatever uploading downloading uh, protocols that existed on because i don't think that's actually very common but it will handle that you know you're connecting to something you need to send a command into that and you need to read the output uh, um, like if you have a weight station and, and trucks are coming on to a, to a weight and, and you need to connect to this one and, and, and read out the, uh, the weight all the time, th this, this way will work very well for that um, if the connection is zero port. So thanks for, for letting me show off some of my, my old funky hardware here. And um, that's uh, that's how you can connect from the cloud, business center in the cloud to a 40 year old uh, computer and, uh, and communicate. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know what else I should put into cloud to disk. Let me know because I've been looking into USB and all sorts of things, uh, but, but what, what do you what would you need in something i'm so to be perfectly clear i'm i'm still figuring out what 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 should cloud to disk become uh, uh but i want to i want to know your your opinion uh, if you have one and put it in the comments below and of course if you're not subscribed i would be honored if you would become a subscriber to the channel and um if you're in the mood for more L. Ha <laughs> ha, let me do this right for once. This video, that's a good one. Check it out. See you there. Bye.